two more. Five. One more. Okay, high five. Look how many we got. Got so many grip clips. Good job. Now we gotta get some, find some rope. Let's find some rope. Okay. Isn't she so cute? She's like my helper for everything. Okay, here's the Home Depot haul for the grip truck. What we ended up getting today. I spent way too much money on stuff that you realize you need to tell, or after you realize you need it, it's too late. So I had a couple minutes to think about it, put a list together in my brain. I didn't get everything I needed, but here's what I got so far. So I haven't shown you guys the cart. It's all in the trailer and stuff, but um, I'm making some smaller carts that will fit better on the trailer. I can fit more types of things um, in there. So I'm in the process of that. Um, so some of these things kind of help with that. So I've been getting these smaller uh, half milk crates because a lot of the projects I'm doing don't, I, I have these, I have the big full size, nice reinforced milk crates. I really like them, but I don't usually fill them up all the way. Um, and then the smaller carts that I'm trying to make will fit better with these guys for the, the smaller trailer package. So anyway, I've been, I've been liking these. They've been pretty doing okay. They're like eight bucks at Home Depot. Um, all right, moving on. So we got bungees to hold it's very, very small stuff onto shelves, although I really hate bungees, but these ones I got because I have a part, a part in the trailer where a bunch of gel rolls are, and I'm just going to basically make a little wall, and these bungees are not going to be pulled tight, very, very tight, because you could lose an eye so fast and easy with bungees. I hate bungees. I'm trying to get rid of all of them, which brings me to, I usually get rope ratchets. I think I've talked about rope ratchets, but I found these today. These are better than bungee tie downs. And the rope ratchets are anywhere between five, six, eight bucks, depending on where you get them. And these guys, they're a little bit lighter duty, but for a lot of the smaller stuff I like to tie down, this will do just fine. I think these were like four bucks. So I got, I basically bought the whole shelf at Home Depot for these guys. We'll try them out. If they suck, I'm just gonna return them. But for now, I feel like there's always like little things that you just wanna tie up, like a couple stands to a car or something like that while you're done, or even just across the shelves. In the, in the truck. Um, some rope, just generic, whatever the 200 pound working load limit, just to tie stuff down. Um, overhead frames or something. Uh, and then obviously pens, pegs, C47s if you want to be trying to be cool. Uh, 10 um, one inch grip clips. Sorry, I'm in the, the sun. The phone doesn't do well with the sun. Uh, six two inch grip clips and six three inch grip clips because those things always walk away. I'm never having no grip clips. Um, oh, but here's something I'm really excited about. So finally doing the whole, I usually just been buying, I've just been buying the pre-made stingers with game boxes on the end just for convenience sake, but they don't last super long. So, but the bullet bought some just cable. So we got some 12, three, 15 amp, uh, cable we're going to make up some stingers i think you can get five 50 footers out of 250 feet and then you know twice as many 25 footers but i basically bought out all of home depot's current stock of kind of mid-level hubbles so uh i'm not going to make all the stingers i think i can make five or six either 50s or 25 so i'll probably make make up five five fifties just so they have them at the 15 amp uh cable and then we have some spray paint because the current cart I have is silver. Nobody wants a silver cart in their truck, so it's going to be black. We'll see how long the paint lasts going in and out with spray paint stuff. Um, and then this mirror, I saw this on, on YouTube. Somebody did a mirror test. And I was like, there's no way you can get a mirror from a spray can. But at least the guys online did it. And it was pretty amazing. So a mirror board, a 4 by mirror board is like 1000 bucks. So I'm going to do a little test on a small piece of plexi. And see if I can't get the same type of output off of a real mirror board because it's going to be way lighter, not as expensive. I'm mostly concerned about the weight because mirror boards are heavy and not easy to, to use. Anyway, there we go. That's the that's the Home Depot haul for today. Um, I think all said and done, that was like 700 and something. Again, way more than I wanted to spend. This is the biggest cost, the cable. It's a 12.3. So, and then all the grip clips. Everything adds up eventually. So anyway. All right, gotta get back to work. Um, and then I think next time I'll be able to actually show you the cart. I have some more stuff to do on it, but a lot of stuff has gotten done, which is nice. So talk to you later.